Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we are going to round out our Champions League group stage campaign against Shakhtar and in the final game against Barcelona. But as always we've got some fixtures to review since the last time we met the first of which was a very very disappointing 2-0 away defeat against Wolves in the League Cup fourth round. We didn't perform anywhere near expectations here. It was pretty much a full strength side as well. So we've got no qualms about that. The team just didn't perform and unfortunately we have fell short of our League Cup expectations for this season. We then had an absolutely brilliant result at home in the Premier League against Liverpool. Esposito getting two, Marcos Antonio getting one and Salah getting a late consolation for Liverpool. Mainly us running out 3-1 victors. Liverpool of course one of the best sides in the league so the fact that we can dominate them so much, even even if it was at home. Being this dominant in this sort of match shows to me that we could potentially be title challengers. Next up, we had a pretty routine 6-0 home victory against Rosenborg in our Champions League group stage campaign. We ended up winning this one 6-0. Wayne Knowles started up top and got himself a hat-trick, which was nice to see. Renato Sanchez with one, Bella Kocak with one and Dodo with the other. And finally, we've just played Arsenal and drew 2-2. Arsenal were top of the league at the time of playing. And whilst we played OK, uh, this showed to me that maybe we're not quite there in terms of the quality, even after that Liverpool game. We did take the lead, though, through Luca Pellegrini in the second minute. But Martial ended up ruling that out and then taking Arsenal in front inside 23 minutes. And then we got a man sent off in the 76th and I thought that's game over. But thankfully we got a penalty in the 87th minute which Marcus Antonio converted. And we at least came away with a point. And this is how the Premier League table looks after that. We currently sit in third position, three points behind Manchester City now after the, uh, that draw against Arsenal. Still in a pretty comfortable position in terms of top four qualification. We're now four points clear from Chelsea in fifth. And you would imagine Norwich being in fourth, they will start to drop as the season progresses. But uh, happy with our league form as things stand. And before we get into the games in the Champions League, we will take a look at our group. We are now sitting at five points clear from Shakhtar in our group. So if we are to win the first game in today's episode, we will then be qualified and it will all be down to, well, actually, we're five points behind Barca. So if they beat Rosenborg, we're not finishing top either. But I will still bring you both games as I think an away tie against Barcelona is always worth watching. There is some injury news to bring you. Unfortunately, Esposito was out for three months. He's now down to six weeks and two months, but it means one of our major strikers is unavailable for a large part of the season. I thought that was great. It might bring Wayne Knowles in. Unfortunately, he's picked up a knock. He's only going to be out for between eight days and two weeks, but that means he misses the next couple of games, which leaves us pretty thin on the ground in terms of strikers. Monzon is actually going to start our £9 million signing who's barely seen the light of day um, since he's come in. And we'll put Danny Olmo in the attacking midfield spot. I don't think we'll start Renato Sanchez when he's only at um, such a low percentage of his um, uh, match conditioning. So we're going to actually start Lucas Nunes in the attack midfield role. We'll move Danny Olmo back in the centre of midfield. Iliax Mariba uh, alongside him. Erling Haaland, Monzon up top. Luca Pellegrini, Dodo as our wing-backs. Bella Kocap, Patella, Onjean as our centre-backs and John Pickford will of course start in goal. So Shakhtar need to win this game to keep their Champions League hopes alive. If we even get a draw out of this game we are qualified and into the first knockout round which is absolutely great. They're coming at us with a 4-4-1-1, a little bit different than they played 4-4-2 last time I think. Um, but we dominated in the away leg. Let's see if we can actually get the goals in the home one. Five minutes in, we have our opening highlight. It's Shakhtar, who are currently in possession, coming down the right-hand side. But Mariba pinches in the centre spot. Lovely. And Monzon's in. Can't beat Neil Etheridge, though. There is another highlight now. Monzon picking up the ball on the halfway line. Linking up well with Pellegrini. And we've worked that brilliantly over at the right-hand side. And Dodo's in behind. And Neil Etheridge, he's becoming a real problem between these two games, I'm telling you. He's another corner, though. Danny Olmo to play it in a doesn't fault anybody and you would imagine this is the end of highlight corner this time for Shakhtar which I don't like to see Bella Kocak manages to get a clear but only as far as Malinovsky and he goes close with a strike but thankfully it goes wide of the target another highlight now Shakhtar once again with a set piece but Pickford claims it this time or oh, big kick up by Pickford or goes over the entire Shakhtar defence and Haaland 
finds himself with an opportunity. A good save by the keeper to give us another corner. Danny almost plays it in. I mean, why do we even bother? Just skip the corner highlights, football manager. Oh, well, if they're not going to lead anything, just get them off. Another corner. Danny Olmo plays it in. It's cleared by Malinowski. Goes back out wide to Danny Olmo on this right-hand side. He gets dispossessed by Shepelev. And Malinowski can now bring it forward for Shakhtar. Some decent play by them to retain possession in the centre of the park. They're not really bombing forward, though. So it's going to be difficult for them to break our defence down without any support from coming from the midfield. But now there's four of them. But Dodo gets in there and gets in a challenge. And Haaland can break. They did push up quite a while, so we might be able to make use of that and there we are Florian Monzon gets his first goal for the club his first of the season and an assist by Erling Haaland all that basically came from the counter-attack um, making Shakhtar push up their held possession for so long that they felt it was safe but thankfully we may managed to be able to punish them for doing that and Haaland with a great cross Monzon with a decent finish he's a good player I signed him for £9 million um, and it's just unfortunate that I really want Wayne Knowles to do well as to why he's not getting more game time. But he's proven himself here. Dodo on this right-hand side playing it down for Erling Haaland from a throw. And he plays it back and he goes for goal. Another fantastic save by Etheridge. A little bit fortunate that it comes back off the post. And they are managed to be able to get it clear. And that is going to be at the end of the first half. Sheffield United 1, Shakhtar Donetsk 0. Uh, decent enough first half. We've played pretty well. We've had a number of opportunities. I would like us to see uh, get a couple more goals to make this a little bit more comfortable. Highlight now, goal kick for Shakhtar, playing it out from the back, but they give it away, and Monzon's in behind again, he goes close, just wide. Danny Olmo with a free kick, it's played in back post, and Armel Bella Kochap is there to head home for his second goal of the season from centre-back, another assist for Danny Olmo, and with only 20 minutes of this game to go, you would imagine this is game over at 2-0, a great free kick, a great header, and hopefully three points coming our way. And with only the 15 minutes or so to go, we will look to get some tired legs off the pitch. We'll get George Baldock on for Dodo at right wing back. We'll get Danny Olmo off and Renato Sanchez can replace him. And we'll also replace Erling Haaland with Jean-Pierre, who's playing in an unusual position up front. It's not something I've really done too often with him. But due to our lack of striking options, we really do need to protect the likes of Haaland. Another highlight now, Pellegrini on the left-hand side gets dispossessed, but can we retain possession? We can. On Jean wins it back for us as Pellegrini starts again with Mariba in the centre. Jean-Pierre and Mariba combining back to Pellegrini on this left-hand side. Nunes were very, very compact of Pellegrini and beat his man over in this position. We could really cause some damage, but at the very least we're retaining possession. And there it is. That's the pass. Pellegrini to Monzon. Is that going to be offside? I think it is. I would have really enjoyed him getting his second goal of the game. It was a well-worked goal as well, but unfortunate. Highlight now, Kovalenko coming forward for Shakhtar. He finds Malinovsky after being uh, stopped by our midfield. Zubkov on this right-hand side. They're not really, even though I think they've went attacking, they've probably changed the tactic to push more men forward. It doesn't look like they're actually coming forward all that much. And Pellegrini goes for goal. That, that was a typical left-wing back shot. Not usually what Pellegrini does. And we'll make the final substitute of the game. We will take off Pellegrini for... No, I can't. We'll cancel that. I've already made three subs. I'm just uh, dreaming a little bit. And this will be the final highlight of the game with only one minute to go. Shakhtar going very close. What a save that was by Jordan Pickford to keep them out and keep us with a good clean sheet. And only a couple of seconds remain. This will be full time, you would imagine. Referee, whenever you're ready. Unless you're going to let us score. George Bollock with a challenge. I mean, why are they showing me this? And there we have it. The highlight came to nothing. Sheffield United 2, Shaq Darnell. Good win. That's us qualified into the next round of the Champions League. We have match, matched our um, board's expectations. And thinking on it now, we're not actually going to play Barcelona. It's absolutely pointless unless they got beat. Oh, hold on. <laughs> they drew against Rosenborg. We could actually finish top on head-to-head -head record if we beat Barcelona away from home. Right, we're bringing you Barcelona. I was going to bring you Man City. Cancel that. We're going to Barca. So only one fixture in between the Shakhtar game and the Barca game, which was, of course, against Manchester City, who were sitting on top of the league away from home. And I think we should be very, very delighted to be able to come away with a point. Vinicius Jr. had put them in front inside 13 minutes. Erling Haaland equalised shortly after that. And that was how the game stood. And a pretty even game it was. That see us, us remain in our third place spot. Three points behind Manchester City and Arsenal now. But um, 
we've played some very difficult games in the last maybe five or so. So I think based on uh, our season expectations and who we've been facing, I think we're in a very, very comfortable position. But anyway, that's enough of the Premier League. Let's get to Barcelona, who we will be facing. And a, a decent victory will see us finish top. I think they, they beat us 1-0, didn't they, when us were at home? Yes, so if we beat them 2-0, we are finishing top. It's as simple as that, pretty much. Um, in terms of the starting lineup, this is how we're going to line up. It's going to be John Pickford and goal. Bella Kocha, Patella and Kera is our centre-backs. Dodo and Pellegrini is our wing-backs. Renato Sanchez is going to get the start ahead alongside Mariba. And Danny Olmo is going to uh, slot in in that attack and midfield role. Uh, Erling Haaland and Monzon will start up top due to our continuing injury worries. So, got to see our boys step up. They play the 4-4-2 once again. It looks like a pretty similar side with the likes of Pogba and Sterling. Uh, that we played in the very first leg. Upa Meccano, um, Titi, obviously just a fantastic, fantastic side. And if we had to get anything, even a draw from today's game, it's going to take a monumental effort. But let's get into it. Here is the first highlight of the game, which usually doesn't lead to very, very much. But we are still in possession. 30 seconds in, Pellegrini plays the ball in. It's cleared. And why do you continue to show me this football manager? And we've picked up another injury. Monzon, our <laughs> backup, backup striker is now injured it really is becoming a little bit of a crisis up top we're going to keep him on for now see how he recovers and maybe readjust how things are sitting at half time maybe depending on the severity of his injury but we'll pick up with the first proper highlight here 15 minutes in paul pogba on the ball for barcelona uh going by the match stats it looks like they've had the better first 15 so it's not surprising that they get the first highlight of the game as Azpilicueta goes for goal and almost beats Pickford with a surprise shot. And there is the second highlight straight away, 18 minutes in, and it looks like maybe not Barcelona coming forward, but they are definitely dominant right now. Pickford with a big ball over the top and Monzon with an absolute chance of dreams. Erling Haaland wins the header and he was in on goal, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he just couldn't do it. Danny Olmo with a corner. Mark andre Ter Stegen with another big save. Highlight now, 23 minutes in. It's Barca once again in possession to start the highlight off and some decent player down this right-hand side finds Macias in behind. Thankfully, he can't get his shot on target. Highlight now, free kick. Danny Olmo steps up. He goes for goal. Ter Stegen again having a decent game in this first half and keeping us out. Danny Olmo with the corner this time. Can he find somebody in the round the box? Super Meccano clears and Griezmann hits it to Rosette and that's going to be it for the first half pretty even maybe Barca having the slightly the better of it but we've definitely had the better opportunity there uh, didn't take it though so as things stand we will still be finishing in second position in the group I'm not sure how things would uh, fall if we end up winning 1-0 I'm not particularly sure how uh, the sorting rules are done in the Champions League group stage uh, beyond head-to-head -head, but we'll We'll see if that becomes a, an issue. Dodo with the ball. Oh my God. How has that just went into the back of the net? Dodo crosses the ball in and it end up going in at the near post. Ter Stegen's had a fantastic game so far, let me be clear. But this is an absolute howler. Dodo gets tackled here, but he manages to keep the ball somehow. He crosses the ball in to Stegen. I mean, I would be absolutely raging if that was Jordan Pickford who had just done that. But thankfully, it's went our way. We're 1-0 up. I need to see. Uh, before the equalise, I need to see what that would actually do. We would finish top if things are to stay as they are, but I'm not under any illusion that that's going to happen. Sterling goes close as Pickford manages to keep it out. I would love the highlights to just finish now, to be honest with you. I don't really want... Oh, Bella Kotchap. You don't lose the ball there to Leon Bailey, who drives in. Pickford manages to keep his um, stance and be able to save that. We're going to take off Monzon. We'll get on Jean-Pierre up top. All of our attacking midfielders now having a little bit of a go up top. <laughs> With only 15 minutes to go, Barca are not pushing forward just yet. They're still on a positive team mentality. We went to the counter and it doesn't look like they're making many changes. We will look to make a couple of changes, bring on some fresh legs. Antonio can come on for Renato Sanchez and Baldock on for Dodo. But as things stand, boys, we have some... Oh, no, no. Why did I make any changes? Four minutes to go, there's a highlight. Haaland... Picks up the ball. It's George Baldock. He's just come on. <laughs> George. That would have finished things up, I think. Three minutes remain. The time is ticking away. And there's another highlight. And this time, it looks like it's going to be Barca with the goal. Raheem Sterling with his fifth goal of the season. 
Ah, oh, it wasn't a bee, boys. It was not a bee. I was hoping it would have, but... Ah, oh, Barcelona equalise in the 90th minute. And that would mean they're finished top now. The draw obviously not being enough for us. A great save initially by Pickford. Take nothing away from him there, but Raheem Sterling was on hand to slot away for Barca. And with only four minutes remaining, we went very attacking. It's not going to do anything. And that is going to be the end of our Champions League group stage campaign. We still finished second, so still a successful campaign. But up until that very last minute there, we were finishing in the top position. Disappointing to end up losing that. I think, particularly with the home leg, we deserved a point. So maybe we could have pinched a win there, even though we might not have deserved it. But it wasn't to be. We finished six points clear of Shakhtar in third, and we qualify for the first knockout round, which usually happens in February. So, looking forward to the next episode. We're going to return for some Premier League action. We're going to play Newcastle and Chelsea towards the back end of December, just before the January transfer window. We haven't got a great deal of funds for that. Only £7 million now. We ended up using quite a lot of it to turn into the wage budget of our current players some new deals. So I wouldn't be expecting to, to see too many new faces in there. But next episode anyway is going to be Premier League centric and I shall see you there. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.